Today, we're talking about cash dividends versus stock dividends. What you need to know, what's the difference, and how it impacts your portfolio. Right here, right now. Stay tuned. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com, Senior Portfolio Manager at Canaccord's Annuity Wealth Management and the Tatro Wealth Advisory Group. Today, we're talking about cash dividends versus stock dividends. The big difference, what you need to know, how they're taxed, how often one happens versus the other. We're going to cover that, all that in this video. Stay tuned. Before we do that, uh, take a sec to like, subscribe, follow, press the red button and follow us. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts, your comments. Uh, put them below. Also, if you'd like to book a new obligation consultation, to chat about this or anything else that's on your mind, please go to www.speaktorob.com. We'd love to book that with you. All right. So basically, a dividend is a distribution of a portion of a company's earnings, and it's decided by the board of directors. Most Canadian companies are issuing dividend via cash payment. The purpose of the dividend is to return wealth back to the shareholders of the company. Why do we own companies? We own companies because we want to participate in the profits of that company, the wealth of that company. Typically, if the cash, if there are cash profits, they will distribute the cash. Mature companies, financial companies, uh, you know, Canadian well-established retailers, uh, consumers, consumer staples, consumer discretionaries. They will often pay a cash distribution because they know they're going to be profitable next quarter. They pre-establish the dividend. They declare it. And then there's a dividend X date. If you are a stockholder by the dividend X date, you receive that cash dividend. Most Canadian companies are in the kind of two to 4% range. Some REITs and infrastructures and, and some other companies are a little higher than that. Five, six, seven, eight. But most Canadian companies are kind of in that three, four, maybe 5% range. Most Canadian companies pay a cash dividend, okay? So that one's fairly easy to understand, right? You, it's paid out in cash. If you own the stock and you're at a, a registered investment dealer, that cash will just show up in your account and then you can do whatever you want with it. You could drip the dividend if the company allows it. The drip is a dividend reinvestment plan, the drip. You can drip your cash dividend and that allows you to buy further stock. Some companies allow you to buy stock at a discount to the market price. So if you like the company and you just want to own more of it and you don't really need the cash, you can drip the stock. The other thing you might do is accumulate some cash and buy another position or maybe wait for the stock to come down and buy some more of it. So there's a couple of different ways you could play that cash distribution. But regardless, it's your cash. Now, dividends in Canada, they're taxed. Canadian cash dividends are taxed. Now, there's a dividend tax credit. The dividends are grossed up. There's a tax credit. I'm not here to give you an accounting lesson as to how dividends are taxed, but just know that they are taxed in a non-registered or in a corporate account. Now, payment of a dividend will also typically cause the company to drop by an equivalent amount. If you have a $100 stock today and they declare a $1 cash dividend, that company cuts a check for a, a dollar to every shareholder, right? So what do you think happens to the value of the stock the next day? It drops by a buck because that dollar is gone from the book, right? That dollar is gone. It's in the hands of all the unit holders. Therefore, the balance sheet of the company it now has $1 less of cash for each share. Company is now worth $99. Now, this will happen. Watch it. Pick a stock that's got a dividend. Watch it on the dividend, on the ex-dividend date. It will trade roughly the difference in the dividend the next morning. So if you have a dollar dividend, you'll be at 98 cents or hundred or dollar two, or it'll trade roughly at the discount of the dividend. Trust me, watch it. It's going to happen. So because the company's worth less now, because the cash is now in the hands of the, of the shareholders. Canadian dividends are really neat because they're, they're taxed favorably, more favorably than interest income. But it's also a regular cash flow. As Canadians, we've been spoiled by high dividends for so long. It allows you to kind of build a model of cash flow model so that if you're retiring or if you need uh, to make a, a payment from your portfolio or maybe you want to make a charitable donation, you can make it. It's a consistent cash flow and you know that it's coming. So that's a big advantage mostly of Canadian dividends. Canadian dividends are higher than most of the dividends of, of the uh, other countries that have kind of mature economies. The U.S. dividends are a lot less than in Canada. Now, a stock dividend, on the other hand, is an increase in the number of shares of a company and the new shares are given to shareholders. So companies might decide to do this if uh, they're tight on cash. So you don't have that much liquidity. You do want to reward the shareholders, so you'll give them more shares. Okay. Now, if you do that, do you think the stock price moves? No, the stock price is not going to move because you've just added shares. You've not distributed cash or anything. You've just kind of created more shares and you've distributed them. 
the shareholder can, can either keep the shares of that company in, in hope that the company is going to do better with the cash than they can in their own portfolio. Or as a shareholder, if you think you could do better in another investment, you sell your shares and you take the dividend as, as cash effectively by selling the shares. Most Canadian companies have a tried, tested, and true proven method where they distribute cash on a quarterly basis. The dividend is declared. They have an earnings call. They'll talk about increasing their dividend. Then they will announce that they're increasing their dividend. It's seen as a favorable thing if you're increasing your dividend on a quarterly or annual basis or even every couple of years. There's a, there's a stat called a dividend growth rate. You track how much has the dividend grown for companies. And that can that's a good sign, right? If a company's growing their dividend, means they got a stronger balance sheet. They're able to distribute more cash flow and you are getting more cash as a result. If you own the bank stock in the 70s and you still own that same bank stock today, I guarantee you your dividend is up significantly from what you were collecting back in the 70s. All right, so reminder, two types of dividends. We got the, the cash dividend, we got the stock dividend. In Canada, we see a lot more cash dividend than stock dividends. Cash dividends are taxable. You do get a dividend tax credit, so it's slightly more favorable depending on your personal situation than interest income. Stock dividend, not taxable on the moment you receive it. Talk to your tax planning consultant to make sure which one might be best for you depending on your personal situation. And also you're given the choice. With a stock dividend, do you sell the shares or do you not? You're also given that choice with cash. Do you buy more shares or do you not? Hey, if this is something you'd like to discuss, take a sec to book a no obligation consultation. Go to www.speaktorob.com. We'd love to book that chat with you. Don't forget to follow, uh, subscribe, press the red button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do it right now. And we'd love to hear your comments. Don't forget to follow and share. By all means, let us know what your thoughts are on cash versus stock dividends. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com, Senior Portfolio Manager at Canico Genuity Wealth Management and the Tatro Wealth Advisor Group. I'll see you in the next video.